morning children how are you all so we are we are discussing about the chapter in the last class was which the chapter we had discussed in the last class that is force and pressure right so you all know what do you mean by force what do you mean by pressure and where you are going to experience this in your day to day life in your at present situations right you all i think you all are going to notice right and this is also an important topic where this you are going to experience in your day to day life also children where when you are walking or uh, for example you will be walking you are going to skid right if the water is there you are going to get it skid do you all know why it happens or how it happens why it happens like that itself only why you are going to get skid why you will walk as usual normally no why you are going to get it skid so for those questions you are going to get answer in this class clear so that chapter name is nothing but friction the chapter name is nothing but friction this word have you all heard anywhere have you all heard anywhere children this word can you all remember in the last class that is in the types of forces right in the contact and the non contact forces when i was classifying it i had used this word friction what did i said there about the word friction children just can you all recall it friction means what i had explained you all i said types of friction or frictional force right so what did i explain here there in frictional force what do you mean by the friction force can you all just recall it so frictional force is nothing but when two objects come in contact at that time the friction happens right so why does it happens we will learn in this class got it children so you are going to learn this class about the chapter that is friction now friction is nothing but which opposes which opposes the motion of an object which opposes the motion of an object over a surface now see for example if the book will be here for example if i roll a pen like this you can observe if one more text will be here at some points here two books are here when i roll this pen you can see at some point the pen goes and stop there right if you roll down a ball or anything marvel anything it's left to you children see for example i'll take a pen here again see i'll do like this now at some point i'll leave this pen or ball whatever from here to here it goes at some point and it stops there why does it stop why does not it moves children why does it stop why can't it uh, means uh, be moving because it stops due to this friction due to this friction got it children due to this friction this will move this will move due to this friction because there i said see which opposes the motion of an object over a surface this is an object this will be in motion so opposes the motion of an object over a surface so this will be a book no when i move this this will be in motion so this opposes the motion by force over this surface what the surface it comes to contact i had given an example for contact force in the last chapter right so when it comes to the contact over the surface it opposes the motion opposes the motion means it if movement is there it opposes the movement it opposes the motion got it children so motion means you all know that is movement so it opposes the motion of an object over a surface i think you all have got the concept of friction right no confusion about this concept now i can give you so many examples you can see the pictures here so the force of friction acts between the object and the surface so as i took a example between pen and book so there are two objects where the force will be there between those two surfaces example a ball see this is a ball right so this ball at some point when you kick that ball have you all observed for playing the football or whatever when you kick the ball it goes at certain point and it just stops when it's stopping it will be just slow down and then it stops have you all observed the children why does it stop why does it stop because this ball will be in contact with this ground surface where this two this opposes the motion of this over the surfaces so 
so only we say friction as opposes the motion this ball will be moving no so it is a movement no it is a movement motion so this opposes the motion over the surface so only this ball stops this is due to friction between what between the ball and the ground one more example is this uh, cycling i will say if if you stop pedaling you'll be you all i know you all will uh, cycling right so if you stop pedaling have you all observed uh, does it be moving if the down is there it will be moving after the down comes if you don't pedal also the cycle moves no at some point at some distance it moves it moves and it stops why does it stops because due to this friction only it stops why means here due to force of friction between the wheel and the road so road is a surface there where cycles wheels are there is in motion that is movement the cycle is moving here at some point this comes into contact with this where this surface opposes the motion of this object opposes the motion of this object so your friction will be applied clear children so did you got the concept between the friction and we are going to experience the friction so whatever the object if they are moving for example if you are moving like this at some point it got stops why does it got stop because this surface is opposing the motion of this pen so only so because of what because of the friction between this pen and my hand so only it stops got the concept about the friction no confusion about the friction right yes now so what are the factors affecting this friction whatever so you learn for the pressure there are so many factors affecting the pressure the same there are factors affecting this friction you children so which are these factors affecting friction so this depends on how many factors two factors this depends on two factors which are these two factors is first is nature of the surface first is nature of the surface for example i said uh, if i take a pen if i move like this and it comes and stand stops at one point so which is the surface here children my hand is a surface where this is an object where this is a surface for this now this uh, whatever the object we are taking it depends on the nature of the surface means the nature of the surface means either it is smooth or rough depends on like that so see smoothness of the surfaces if smooth is there it moves easily if rough is surface is there it feels difficulty right see so nature of the surface is contact so it depends on what nature of the surface next how are the surfaces pressed together how are the surfaces pressed together now this object is lightweight so no problem but when you take heavy objects when you take heavy objects how friction happens that depends on these factors how are the surfaces pressed together that means friction is less on a smoother surface the i said no if smooth uh, for example uh, you all go play the sliding ride in a park that surface will be out children it will be smooth or rough it will be smooth because you can slide it easily so the friction will be less or no friction less because it is having smooth surface because it will be having smooth surface so friction will be less say so give an example no why if you keep a pen like this if you roll down it comes and stops at some point why does it stops because this is a surface where this surface opposes the motion of this object so it gets stop so which are the factors affecting the uh, friction is one is nature of the surface and second one is how are the surfaces pressed together how are the surfaces pressed together see how and where will be the friction less where the smooth surface will be there the friction will be less see how this is the heavier object this is the lighter object you all can identify no? this is the lighter object see this is lighter and this is heavier what it now i said uh, if it's heavier it will be what here now this is a surface this is a surface where this is a surface now in this surface if i keep lighter objects in one surface and if i keep heavier objects which you feel easy to push it from
on one side if you try to push you wish you feel difficulty in this one or this one children you feel difficulty in heavier objects right you feel difficulty in heavier objects why do you feel heavier, uh, difficulty in heavier objects because here their friction will be more because the friction will be more why friction will be more because this is a harder surface this is a Straw, the heavier particle, right? So this heavier particle will be applying more force on the surface. So the friction will be more. But coming from the lighter particle, the friction will be less. Where the surfaces are not pressed harder, right? If you keep one twenty-five kg uh, weight of rice on one paper sheet, and if you pull it, feel easy or difficulty? You feel easy while uh, pushing the five kg rice or twenty-five kg rice bags. You feel very easy while pushing this 5 kg rice bags because the friction will be less there. But with 25 kg bag, the friction is, will be more because why? The object will be having heavier mass, where the object will be having lighter mass. Got it, children? Did you understand what do you mean by friction and what are the factors affecting the friction? Clear, children? So in the next class, we will be discussing about the causes of friction. And how the frictions will appear and the types of friction we are going to discuss with children. So just uh, read the textbook. I will be sending the PDF of the textbook and understand it. If any doubts, you can just ask.